am Ravi, Ravi Handa from handakafanda.com. Welcome to another Factopedia session. And in this session, we will talk about the Mars Orbiter mission. Please note that this is not a Gyan session. The key idea behind these Factopedia videos is to help you score more in the GK section. So we will not really be getting into the details. We will just touch the few points on which a question might be asked in IFT or SNAP or SAT or for that matter any other exam which deals with GK and current affairs. So let's talk a little bit about the Mars Orbiter mission or as it is popularized as MOM. Now it is also known as the Mangalyaan. This was developed by ISRO, our homegrown Indian Space Research Organization. This project was approved in 2012 under the UPA government. It was launched on 5th of November 2013 and it entered the Mars orbit in, on 24th September 2014. So these dates might be mentioned in a match the following pattern or maybe a question is asked on one of them. So you might not remember the exact date but what you need to remember is August 2012 approved, November 2013 launched and September 2014 it entered the Mars orbit. Who are some of the key people associated with the project? M. Anadurai, he was the project director. So he is kind of the guy who is responsible for the whole thing. K. Radhakrishnan, he is the ISRO chairman during this project. M. Y. S. Prasad is the director of SDSC SHAR. Now for those of you who do not know what this is, this is Satish Dhawan Space Center, also known as the Sri Harikota High Altitude Range. Now this is actually the place from which the Mars Orbiter mission was launched. The satellite was launched. And uh, so it's named after Satish Dhawan. Satish Dhawan is a prior ISRO chairman. Sri Harikota is actually a place in Andhra Pradesh. It's actually an island of the coast of Andhra Pradesh. It cost $25 million for the entire satellite and the whole project was, as you can see, dirt cheap at $73 million. Well, $73 million is dirt cheap when you compare for a space mission. The distance of Earth to Mars is roughly 55 million kilometers, but the probe traveled approximately 780 million kilometers. So these are some distances once again might be mentioned as an objective type question or something. ISRO has become the fourth space agency to reach Mars. The first three are the Soviet space program, the NASA and the European Space Agency. India is also the first nation to reach the Mars orbit on its first attempt. Please note it's not the first nation but the guys who did it on the first attempt. And it is the first Asian nation to do so. So China is kind of behind on this part. The scientific payload that it is carrying is roughly 15 kgs of 1350 kgs which is the total weight. And what does the scientific payload contain? Now this is not something that you need to remember. Just have a look at it once because the questions that you will be getting, they will not be fill in the blank type of questions. They will be objective questions. So even if you have gone through these names once, you will be able to mark them in the exam provided that they come in the exam. So what are they? LAP, the Lyman Alpha Photometer, MENCA, the Martian Exospheric Neutral Composition Analyzer. I'm not even going to pretend I know what they do. Just some names that you should remember. Mars Color Camera, uh, Methane Sensors for Mars, the MSM, and the Thermal Infrared Imaging System. So the idea is, if you have seen this video, you will remember them in the actual exam. The LAP, MENCA, MCC, MSM, and TIS. There might be a question on this. On the other hand, if you ask me what's more probable, the more probable part is you will get a question either on the people or on the dates. Those are typically the more important bits. I hope you learned something about the Mars Orbiter mission from this Factopedia. And if you enjoyed this, please let me know the feedback so that I can keep on making more such Factopedias. Signing off, Ravi Handa. Thank you.